SOJ's mission to contribute to inclusive growth and an equitable and sustainable Jamaica for all, the PSOJ decided to lead by example. The PSOJ led by raising $150 million to acquire ventilators for hospitals. The PSOJ also decided to put in place our PSOJ COVID-19 Jamaica Response Fund to deal with the issue of food security and health to support the efforts of our public health. The PSOJ and partners have connected with over thousands of vulnerable Jamaican families in over 38 communities across the island. In the past seven weeks, we have taken food and health to more than 35,000 beneficiaries, giving more, more than 29,000 much needed packages and health to needed Jamaicans. I'm here today with PSOJ and CVSS and they're, they're contributing to domestic workers across Jamaica with over 800 packages. So over 1,000 domestic workers will be impacted. You know, we have soap, we have um, care packages, we have food items. I just want to say thank you to PSOJ and CVSS. 19 supportive NGOs joined our initiative, including those that work with the deaf and hard of hearing, people living with a disability, and people living with HIV. The Sounds Foundation has partnered with PSOJ. This is our second partnership for the COVID initiative. Um, the first one was really done towards the ventilators and the purchase of ventilators for Jamaica. And this second one, of course, is about care packages. And what I think is really great about these care packages is that it's a sustainable thing because it's, it's three months. It's not just a one-off and it's all about partnership. And so for this one, we gave $2 million, Sandals Foundation, and we brought our volunteers down here to be part of the packing. And we've also been part of the distribution, both in Montego Bay and this week, week in Ocherias. Willing hands and big hearts came from over 900 volunteers who have given more than 13,000 hours of selfless service to date. We want to really say thank you and how much we appreciate JM Foundation for all your support, all that you do for missionaries of the poor. These are blessings from the Lord, and the Lord is using you all as an instrument to spread the gospel message to the least of our brothers and sisters. The patriotic partnership with the Jamaica Defense Force lifted our spirits. Their skillful warehousing, logistics, and delivery schedules to communities was ably supported by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, who works with local partners alongside our volunteers to personally deliver relief packages to beneficiaries all across Jamaica. This was made possible by over 850 local and overseas donors who have so far contributed over 180 million Jamaican dollars. And to them I say thank you and we are grateful. Gratitude is a must. It was a great honor to be working together with so many great organizations, working in a spirit of unity as we work to deliver the common good for our Jamaican brothers and sisters. This really has been kind of a moving experience for me personally, because I've seen the individuals that have received the support and the, the gratitude that you see in people's face that we were there to support them has been eye-opening. Just, you know, just knowing that people could be so grateful and so warm in time of need, you know, was really moving. We are pleased and grateful for your generosity. In managing these funds, we remain committed to transparency timely reporting and accountability. A huge, massive thank you to all our donors and to those who plan to give soon. For this important cause, we started a GoFundMe campaign so that we can connect to our diaspora family and to all those who would like to help Jamaica now. Please go to standforjamaica.com to donate. Spread the word to your family and your friends. Encourage them to give and help with what they can so that we can support Jamaica now. We at the PSOJ have been really happy and honored to have been able to 
support Jamaicans in their greatest time of need. And Jamaicans have responded and showed their gratitude. When I see these great organizations come together to work for the common good of our brothers and sisters that are in, in such need, it really was a moving experience for me. You know, everybody was giving their hands and hearts together to really ensure that we could be our brother's people. So that we could make Jamaica stronger. So we could make our vulnerable communities even stronger. You know, and it really, really was a moving experience for me. And I am just for all the volunteers. So you know what, Jamaica? One love, come on board. Let's work together. Let's continue to build our beautiful country. Thank you.